Does the world hate old people? Timber! <laughs> I think the world does hate old people. No one wants to get older. The world does not hate old people. Just Hollywood does. 38-year-old Virginia thinks the world hates old people. Unfortunately, we look at everything old as negative, as throw away and not so good. And now I'm getting to that age, and I'm not happy with it. My partner, Glenn, and I are, well, he says it's four and a half years apart. I say it's five years apart. I never wanted to be the older one. <laughs> and now I find myself being the older one, and I find not only I'm the older one in age, I'm starting to look like the older one. And I don't want to. Call it an obsession, call it whatever you want. I just don't want to be or look like the older one. Now Virginia wants a facelift so that she can look younger. Every day that I look in the mirror and that I see the aging process taking place, it just saddens me. In a hidden camera experiment, we test whether passers-by find a singing teacher less competent when we change her from something-something to 60-something. from the UK reveals that the market for anti-aging creams and lotions will be worth $3 billion this year. I'm 34 and I've bought every anti-aging cream on the market. Steve Jordan teaches psychology at the University of Toronto. The perfect face and body that many women pursue may actually be unattainable. A British psychologist estimates that in an average week, women see two to 5,000 images of the perfect body that are actually digitally touched up. 38-year-old Virginia has done whatever she could to have a younger-looking face. I have had fillers here uh, on the fair lines. Um, I had my lips, and I had Botox done in June over here on this fair line. But despite undergoing these procedures, Virginia still doesn't look as young as she'd like. When I look in the mirror, I see hanging, flabby skin here, a lot of fine lines. Looking at my face, it makes me feel sad because I, I'm looking older and tired, more, a lot older than I would like to, to look. So now, Virginia will undergo facelift surgery. What I'm trying to achieve is a more youthful appearance. The fillers is just a, a temporary band-aid. I want a more permanent fix. Negative stereotypes of the elderly are both common and powerful. In a UK-wide survey, one-third of the respondents believed that older people were both incapable and incompetent. In a hidden camera experiment, we'll put this stereotype to the test. We're sending Junior Lisa to a busy downtown street corner to pose as a singing teacher offering a free lesson. Hi, guys. Do you have a second? Uh, yeah, kind of, yeah. My name's Lisa, and I'm opening up my own singing studio. And I'd like to know if you would like a free singing lesson. Come on over. Right, I'm going to try it. Okay. You too, come on. Yeah, camera, come if he's going to do yeah. it, you can do it. These boys aren't interested in music. They want a date to the prom. So you want to stand up straight and take in a deep breath, expand your chest. Ready? Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Right, cool. Awesome. Thank you. I would love a free song. Yeah? yeah? OK. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Three singing lessons. Would you like one, sir? Absolutely. Do, do re, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Beautiful! Everyone wants to sing! Hi! I have a free singing lesson. Awesome! Oh my! Junior Lisa has no trouble getting passers by to take a singing lesson. But what we're really testing is how passers-by will rate Junior Lisa on a competency well, scale. Well, thank you. That's what I would like to know, actually. <laughs> on a scale of 1 to 10, yep. how would you rate my competency as a teacher? I'll give you a 8. An 8? Yes. Fantastic. So what would you give me as far as a 1 to 10 goes? Uh, 
Well, I like your attitude, so nine. I would give you a nine. A nine? Yes. Awesome. Ten. Ten? A ten, of course. A ten. A ten? Yes. Awesome. An eleven. Eleven. Definitely a nine. Yeah? You were, you were, uh, you stuck with it. Do you have a quick second turn? I don't sing, though. Well, that's what I'm here for. No. Do re mi fa. My first impression of Lisa was she was very personable. Yeah, I guess eight. Eight? Yeah. I'll take it. She seemed like she knew what she was doing. Good luck to you. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Junior Lisa scored an average of 9.4 out of 10 on the competency scale. Today went really well. I got lots of nines and tens. People thought I was really competent. Virginia wants to look as young as she can, so she's undergoing a facelift. I live with my six children. The older children, when they went to school, it was kind of nice to get that wow mom effect. And I was always the young mom. You know, I like that title. It felt good. The older children are from a previous relationship. The triplets are from this current relationship. I'm afraid that when I'm with the triplets, people will think that I'm the grandmother and not their mother. I don't want to have to experience that because it definitely is an ego bruiser. I'm strong, but not that strong. Come on, guys. Virginia, I think she looks great. I know herself, she doesn't think so. I always see her looking in the mirror. She's always, always going on about her looks. I want her to feel great about herself. With the facelift, I do think that I will be much happier with my appearance. Aging is getting me closer to the inevitable, which is the end, and I don't want to have to face that every time I look in the mirror every day. I could wait to age just a little bit longer, and I think that by looking younger, I might feel younger. The American Society of Plastic Surgeons reports that one-third of people considering plastic surgery have household incomes below $30,000 a year. I paid for my tummy tuck and liposuction with my credit card, and I'm proud of it. Credit card companies regularly take out ads in women's magazines stating that cosmetic procedures can be financed for as little as $99 down and $99 per month. In the second part of our hidden camera test, we're transforming Lisa from junior la, to senior. And we're sending senior Lisa back to the busy downtown street corner to pose as a singing teacher offering a free lesson to find out how passers-by will rate her on a competency scale. Madonna? How did we get Madonna to agree to be on this show? If the research is correct, and older people are seen as less competent, then senior Lisa may score a lower average on the competency scale. Would you like a free singing lesson, sir? Come on down. I'm opening my own voice studio, and I'm just taking a sort of a test survey on how many people are interested in taking singing lessons, and I'm going to give you a free lesson. First of all, put your drink down. Relax. Relax. Uh-oh. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, da. Way to go! That was excellent. Have you ever thought about singing? Yes. Would you like to take a quick lesson here with me? All right. Deep breath. Let it out. I'll expand my chest if you expand yours. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. How'd you feel? <laughs> Sounded good. Do. do. Give it a try. Do, re, mi, fa, You should take singing lessons as well as acting. Then you can take dancing lessons and be a triple trap. Do, re, mi, fa, sol. Bravo! Bravo! Senior Lisa is hitting high notes with passers-by. But how will they rate her on the competency scale? What would you rate my competency as a singing teacher? What would you give me from one ten, to ten? ten Thank you so much. Eight? 
And an eight? Okay, I'll take that. Let's 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 put down an eight or a nine. And an eight or a nine, yeah. eight or nine, which? I'd like it somewhere in between. Between an eight and a nine, an eight and a half. I don't know. You you would be a good teacher anyway. Yeah. So from one yeah. to ten, what would you say? Ten. How would you rate me? I would me? give you a five. A five. Okay, great. Out of five. Five out of five. Yes. Well, this is out of ten. Oh, okay. Well then. Um... <laughs> What you say from what you? Eleven. I had a wonderful time today. People were so receptive to my singing lesson, and they found me extremely competent. In fact, I got a lot of tens and an eleven. Senior Lisa received an average score of nine point six on the competency scale, a higher average than Junior Lisa's nine point four. I'm not surprised that the older Lisa won. Would you rather learn singing from Miley Cyrus or Barbara Streisand? Dr. Ali Adibfar is a board-certified plastic surgeon practicing in Toronto. He'll be preparing Virginia today for her facelift. Hi, Virginia. How are you today? Fine. Good to see you again. I know we did some fillers for you here once mm -hmm. or twice. Yes. You weren't 100% happy with that, right? Yeah, they just don't last. OK. You want something more permanent. Then really the option for you is to essentially do a mini facelift, a short scar facelift, which involves a little incision here, right in your ear and behind your ear. From there, we gain access to these fat pockets and the loose muscles, and we tighten up the muscles. Everybody has asymmetries. I also recommend that we put a little bit of a fat on that side, so then we can try to balance it. That's basically it. Good to see you again. All right. Facelift surgery is not without risk. Virginia could have complications. Nerve damage. Injury to nerves that control facial muscles can be permanent. Skin discoloration. Blood left behind after lifting the skin can cause staining. Skin necrosis. Infection can cause skin to die. Virginia is willing to take on the risks of facelift surgery so that she can look younger. She arrives at the clinic on surgery day. Today is the start of the new me. I'm doing this because I want to feel good and better about myself, yet it's also taking a risk. I have fears of not being there afterwards for my children. All ready? Yeah. Great. I'm ready. Come on with me. I look in the mirror and the, the look doesn't fit what I'm feeling. The look is tired. And so I'm, I'm hoping to change that. I want to feel good and happy and energized and refreshed so that my look goes along with my feelings. Research from the UK reveals that nearly 30% of people believe there is more prejudice now against old people than five years ago. But isn't age just a number? None of my coworkers know how old I am. If I tell people I work on 51, I won't get promoted. A study by the University of Pennsylvania showed that 90% of the older people shown on primetime TV are men, and they show up on average every 22 minutes. An older woman is only seen every four to five hours. So on TV, older women are virtually invisible, which may in part explain why so many women desire a more youthful appearance. 68% of Canadian women surveyed agreed with the following statement. While men over 50 are viewed as distinguished, women over 50 are viewed as over the hill. We're going downtown to ask these women if they agree. So do you agree with the following statement? Men over 50 are viewed as distinguished, whereas women over 50 are viewed as over the hill. I think a lot of women are seen as getting older, and whereas most men that I know who are still single, it's okay, and they're having a good time still. Unfortunately, I think it's a true statement. I think, yeah, but I, think I agree. I don't think it should be that way. Agree. <laughs> For both of us. I don't think that women should be stereotyped against in that way. I know some boxy 50-year-old ladies, my mom included. I agree that people think that, yeah, but they shouldn't. Men over 50 are viewed as distinguished, but women over 50 are viewed as over the hill. <gasps> I guess I do agree with that. That's a stereotype, and unfortunately, that's the way the society is. I agree. 
I think that it's very accepted for an older man to be with a younger woman, but not the other way around. And that's because older men are still viewed as powerful and sexy, and older women are not. They're just simply viewed as old. Sing it, sister! Sadly, I think women are looked at, maybe it's a harsh word, but like they depreciate with age, whereas men, it's almost like they get better looking the older they get. So it's kind of like women's peak is in like their early 20s, so over 50, they're just not looked at as uh, hot young girls anymore. 79% of women agree that men over 50 are viewed as distinguished. And women over 50 are viewed as over the hill, unfortunately. So much for girl power. How are you? Good. Good to see you again. 38-year-old yeah. Virginia does not want to look over the hill, so she's undergoing a facelift. I feel like I'm almost, almost like a vehicle, but in person. I'm going in for repairs. I don't want to look different, like a different person. I just want to look like Virginia a few years ago. Okay. I'm hoping for just a, I guess, a step back in time. Dr. Adib Farr begins Virginia's facelift surgery by freezing the areas of her body that he will be working on. She will be sedated, but awake for the entire procedure. That's a... Next, fat is harvested from Virginia's abdomen. Okay, good. It's injected into her cheeks to create volume and balance. An incision is then made around Virginia's right ear, and the muscles in her cheek are tightened. Dr. Adibfar pulls Virginia's skin tight around the ear, removes the excess, and the incision is closed. The procedure is then repeated on the left side. Virginia's facelift surgery took five hours to complete. Everything is finished. Is Dr. Adibfar happy with the outcome? Everything went perfectly by the book. So we're going to go to the recovery room. She's going to look about uh, five years, uh, perhaps less tired and uh, younger. I'm going to give you something for me. It will be four months before Virginia sees the full result of her facelift surgery. A study of American women reveals that 60% believe women age faster than men, and 56% worry that they're becoming less attractive with age. The other 44% of us just never leave the house. Research from Stanford University shows that on average, men in their middle 20s marry women a year or two younger than themselves. 30-something males marry women five to 10 years younger, and men in their 40s and 50s prefer women 10 to 20 years younger. This means that there are very few partner choices available for middle-aged or older women. We're going back downtown to ask men if they agree with the statement. While men over 50 are viewed as distinguished, women over 50 are viewed as over the hill. Men over 50 are viewed as distinguished, but women over 50 are often viewed as over the hill. Mature women are beautiful, it's just that it is where society set up and the stereotypes still exist. Not everyone looks at it like that. Uh, I disagree as well. Cougar's coming! Uh, I would agree. I agree. I guess men look good when they're old and they have young girlfriends, you know? Yeah, right. Definitely agree. It's all about beauty. It's all about looks. Men over 50 are viewed as distinguished, but women over 50 are viewed as over the hill. Agree. 50 might even be too high. 30 might be the breaking point there. Yeah. Stereotypically, I agree. Yeah. I agree. But personally, I actually think that women are more beautiful as they age. Yeah, I agree. Maybe their wombs turn into cold caves instead of, uh, like, breeding ground. Did he say cold cave? 64% of men agree with the statement that men over the age of 50 are viewed as distinguished and women over the age of 50 are viewed as being over the hill. That's less than the 79% of women who agreed with the statement. Virginia had her facelift two months ago so that she could look younger. Virginia's skin is now tighter. Her jaw is more defined. 
and she no longer looks tired. I'm very happy about the results I got. The facelift has definitely given me a boost of confidence. I feel much better about myself, about the way I look. Now when I look in the mirror, I see a less tired me, a more youthful me. Recovery was very minor. And the little scars and things, it's not a big issue to me. Now that Virginia has had facelift surgery, does she think she looks younger? I wanted to look like my younger self, and I think I've accomplished that. I think that Glenn and I look closer in age now. I feel that I look like the triplets' mother and not so much like their grandmother. One, two, three. Cheese. Next year, it'll be my 40th birthday, and getting there looking younger feels good. I'm happy to uh, turn 40, but I'm happy that I won't be looking 40. Yay. <laughs> yeah, it feels good.